What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another episode of Music Mayhem for y'all. And hey, we got five songs from from like last week and such, a week and a half and go and such. We got Nikki Tracks, we got Ham Sandwich, we got Connor Quest, we got Cam Steady, and we're gonna end it off with Schwabity. So, hey, stick around to the end and such, cause hey, you already know when it comes to these nerdcore artists, they be bringing that heat. So, we're gonna start it off with Nikki Tracks, which is Tanjuo Rap Believe. Featuring Sam, Sky, and Macro. So, hey, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. Ooh, get emotional. and subscribe. Hold up. This nigga's A. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There be certain artists that when it comes to the hooks, they hooks be on point. Sam Sky and hey, I saw that Nikki track saying about how scams Sam Sky, bro. It's been a even though I don't check you out as much as I can, I should cause nigga <laughs> when it comes to your hook games, you be on point. Hold up. Especially this beat. crazy what happened to that series saying you about to be the king of the pirates hmm I thought you were still gonna make that keep on going and such what happened <laughs> nobody was trying to compete with you and such I mean it is what it is I guess but hey still don't sleep on macro man I be t hey when it comes to macro too <laughs> give this man a hook and a verse and he gonna kill it I can't give it. I got a problem I can't stop but I'm too focused on the mission 
vision I'm too locked in with the vision They wanna talk about forgiveness Like it's something I could give them That's not something that whole bitch was not I don't understand what the problem is They say you wanted the best I can't acknowledge it Forced to live inside Run that back Yo, I know he Bro Nikki just be rapping when it comes to put the pen to paper, put that pen to paper or words to iPhone or whatever, point is, Nikki's a rapper rapper. Man knows how to just speak that real shit, especially when it comes to his lyrics. Run that. I don't try to what's the point. You gotta show them, yeah. You gotta know that you can't let these demons win. I gotta be the one they fear when they speak about the gift. Yeah. And I don't even really care when you see it from within. Yeah, you already know with Sam Sky, he always gonna give you those hooks that really hit you there and such, especially with them high notes, it's insane. And then Mac Rowe and Nikki. Y'all did y'all thing. Make sure y'all go run this up for Nikki tracks. Now we got Ham Sandwich, Believe It, featuring JB Boss. Okay. Okay. Music video and Naruto MV mixed in. Yeah. Oh, run the back. Sorry, this always happens sometimes and such. Especially when it's on that audio and such. But hold on, run it up. Let's get it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Believe it. Let's go. Hey. 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 Hey, so he been holding on to this for a little minute. That's when you know with Ham Sandwich, one thing I gotta say, and Schwabity has said it before, when it comes to Ham Sandwich, his mind, he has a, he has such a creative mind that sometimes you never know when he gonna, sh he gonna show it. Basically, he gonna show it out as much, especially when it comes to music videos. Hey, he gonna show it out. Hold on, let me run this back though. Now we're going to the song. Said that I'll be at the top, but not know they wouldn't believe it. They won't. I could have remained in the spot, and they telling me that I'm dreaming. They wanted me off, wanted me joining my soul, and stuck in the deep end. No matter the talk, I still keep moving and do what I do for a reason. I stay with my crew in the cut, and they meant that I've been going up. Who's the gang and we've been going up? And with us, you taking a loss. To be some of you know I'm a clutch. But I'm up when I move with the sauce. Now they saying I'm doing too much. Not enough, so I'm doing it all. Yeah. Don't give a fuck about the person doing what I'm trying to be the best. Jesus pieces on me, I ain't got no VVS yeah. But I'm cool with that, cause on that stage is where you gon' see me next Up in the VIP and BTS Hey, and BTS Hey, and hey. Ooh. 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 Up in the VIP and BTS with TLT and GTS yes. And that ain't even that big a flex But I've been suppressing these niggas press Cause I'm stepping these bands up on their <laughs> hey. neck Niggas can't even stand up on their chest Can't expect them to stand on what they said and That's what they dread and that's what they fled from Your dog's looking out for bread Niggas spread the rumors so I had to bet some I had to get some um, Run that back. What you said, Ham? Run that back. 
Y'all be not listening to him when he's talking and shit. Where you gonna see me next? Up in the VIP and BTS with TLT and DPS. Yes. And that ain't even that big a flex, but I've been suppressing these niggas pressing because I'm stepping these bands up on their neck. Niggas can't. And niggas be pressed because I be stepping on these niggas niggas. Hold on, run it. Run it one more time. Because this man be talking his shit. PM BTS with TLT and DPS. And that ain't even that big a flex, but I've been suppressing these niggas pressing because I'm stepping these bands up on their neck. Niggas can't even stand up on their chest. Niggas can't even stand up on their checks. Eh. Saying that nigga, even the check you got, you can't even stand on that. You can't even work with that. <laughs> hey, nothing's wrong with trying to live off check to check. But if you want to talk big shit and knowing that you just only live off checks, you can't even stop the talking and grind your shit out. Pause, no diddy. But I've been suppressing these niggas pressing cause I'm stepping these bands up this on they neck. Shoot. Niggas can't even stand up on they yeah, chest. Can't expect them to stand on what they said. That's mm -hmm. what they dread and that's what they fled from. Mm -hmm. Your dog's looking out for bread. Mm -hmm. Niggas spread the rumors so I had to bet some I had to death. Said I'd be at the top but now they wouldn't believe it. Told them I could've remained in the spot and they telling me that I'm dreaming. They wanted me off, wanted me turning my soul. It's nothing to deep in. No matter the talk, I still keep moving and do what I do for a reason. Run that back, what you said. Man, I'm doing too much. Not enough. What you said, Jim. Yeah. 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 Rumors, cause you niggas got no sense of humor. Seven yeah. niggas was cancerous, just know my answer. We already cut off the tumors. <laughs> just say my niggas is cancerous, just know that we cut off the tumors. Cause you niggas got no sense of humor. Seven yeah. niggas was said my niggas was cancerous. Cancerous, just know my just know it. Just know my answer is Answer we already cut all the tumors I know we gonna make it whenever I ain't worried about making it sooner Let me say it with clarity Winning a guarantee We already in the future We already taking over everything Ten million looking like it's just a story I'm these niggas running to the process Hope you niggas ready for another run My position running out of options Ain't nobody but me who can hold me back Niggas ain't doing shit to my offense Cause I don't know the meaning of holding back I was about to say what that narrowtory MV is at. What was that? Whatever that was, so can't wait for that. But hey, shout out to Loop. But now we got Conquest Anime Monster Rap. What's gotten into you? And apparently he has this off of an album that he's making real soon. Hey. Hey, a lot of Nerdcore artists and with hymns too and such. Yo, these Nerdcore artists are in album mode. So hey. Can't wait for these albums to come out. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Shadow shape doesn't match my frame. The window to my unholy past is stained. Lacerations I've no memory of. Went to recall last night. Remember that I forgot. Send help, I slipped away. Still me, but don't feel the same. Imagine if you would have had DPS on this, cause hey, with DPS he's the. If you're gonna have a anime monster or villain type rap and such, I'm just saying, you should have had DPS on it, cause knowing how he loves horror monsters or villains, mostly villains, you should have had him as a feature. But hey, it is what it is. Go. 
retreat from a dark place See the door with his teeth in the archway And the force that is peaking my heart rate Left unchecked, this unstoppable growth This bread's like moss on a cobblestone road Then it follows me home, an ominous home A positive bones, never solve the problem Not even watching in homes Claws on the the fingers like splinters This form a hindrance to my normal existence Offensive senses, so smell the cinders With the bell I've told that calls of them ringers thing with Connor not only he's like what I call him the king of literacy illiteracy or literacy is a way how he even with the rap words he's rapping and such he keeps it with the beat and such like make it flow with the beat like bro this is what I be saying that when it comes to Connor he just knows how to make shit rhyme and make it be so smooth but also know how to make that make him ride the beat with it and such. A lot of artists need to start doing that too. That's um, that's all I'm gonna say. This was, this is definitely the anthem for all the anime monsters out there. This is Luke Catherine Cock. Shout out to Fresh and Canelo on the mix. <laughs> Can't wait for that album from Connor. Now we got Cam Steady with a cult of lamb song. God damn, nigga. I wasn't letting him stop. Just, I let him keep on going. Hold on. I have to run that back. Yes, we running that all the way back. Because that nigga just started going. I didn't let him stop. Oh no. Peace, holiness is pain. 
Cause with Gigi building this up and then Kim just come out and And just go, Kim. I hear the son of season belief in the fathers are preaching their peace for their sons and their daughters as we seek and lead in the sheep to the slaughter. The prophecy properly needs me a goner. They go for me, go to the demons as fodder. I'm brought to be go to redeem the dishonor. Hypocrisy dawn on these heathen as martyrs. My vision is farther now. I understand compassion is human, but I am no man. What prophets are prophets? I don't think that I am. It's crazy. He's waiting to extend in the hand. He says I'll return you to earth to awaken my plan. But birth is a curse to obey my demands. All the power, prosperity, pleasure is promised. I promise yourself as a slave. This is the choir. This is the choir. This is the choir. This is the I'm sorry, I'm just still caught up on the whole first part of it when it was just sounding like Cam was just in a freaking orchestra way how he was freaking going in and such but but then this this little chorus right here though like this is to do Purpose to service the church of the mice by incurring the church's demise. Serve it to word of the wise as I'm burning the turn and the tide. It's a turbulent time. Our herd is converging, the birds are chirping and burning in circles the sky. The birth of our murder is tried. And now open the curtains and show them your lies. Show them the blindness but follow your wise. Show them the silence and call it your cries. Show them the highest and death with pride. Show them the emptiness within your mind that is causing us pestilence, famine, and war by design. And the chaos that breaks when you slay your divine will be breaking the chains on the window will rise. Yo. This is why I say with this, this is why I'm always keep on saying that when it comes to the nerdcore community, I swear to God, even though they got their inspiration reference from certain coach, certain mainstream artists or whatnot or underground artists, I'm just saying you could you put them in comparison to a certain mainstream rapper mainstream artists and there's I'm sorry but look for me personally and it's not even no hate to certain mainstream artists out there but I'm just saying with the levels of creativity that's in this nerdcore in this, in the community of nerdcore I'm sorry they beat out all of well let me not say all of them but beat out certain mainstream songs out there or certain mainstream artists. Um, you can hate me for saying that or not. Point is, let's be honest. The level of these types of production, the level of these types of lyrics, the cadence, and just creativity in all of these, trust me. I don't, I don't hear none of your favorite rappers doing that shit. I'm sorry. You just don't. I just don't. And certain ones of them I love, but let's be honest. Most of the times they don't do this type of creativity. If you if I'm wrong, let me know. Cause goddamn. It's a turbulent time. Our herd is converging, the birds are tripping and burning in circles the sky. The birth of our murder is tried. And now open the curtains and show them your lies. Show them the blindness but following your eyes. Show them the silence and calling your cries. Show them the highest and death with pride. Show them the emptiness within your mind that is Show them that the highest is deafened with pride. Mmm. I 
I'm face to face with hopelessness When I make my way below again And I have an intervention with my holy friend He cries now that the hex is lived To this time your final test is given Just lay your life and the rest is written But the sacrifice seems sacrilegious like I wear the crown of this crown that I found This little pocket right here is fire I like this little pocket right here where it's like that it's like that video game rap battle voice of cam but it's mixed in with this level of cam steady it just be fire that's just fire right there hold up like listen to this little pocket yes i'm face to face with hopelessness when i make my way but no again and i have an intervention with my holy friend he cries now that the hex is lit to this time your final test is given just lay your life and the rest is written but the sacrifice seems sacrilegious like i wear the crown of this crown that i found it from man to the dirt we had an agreement i'm changing the terms you made me a demon you're leaving the scene of supporting it sir cause you see your new order is birth if you're safe for the shepherd who won with the church you're just paying for your death if you're bored with the work they ignoring the sheep now he's storming the earth and then Chi Chi. And the thing is with Chi Chi, she has a phenomenal type of. That's what I'm saying. This creativity, like with the coat of the lamb, and I'm pretty sure it's like an animation. Well, obviously, where it's basically where this big old coat and such, right? With the demonic things and whatnot. Look. I don't care what you, it's an anime so, or a show, so I ain't even trying to make it be about how this religion is to, it ain't like that. But the way how it captivates that and such, because even if, well, sometimes it does show it. But basically with the whole captivating of how this sounds like it should be like the anthem for a cult, hence the name Cult of the Lamb. This definitely sounds like a cult where they would march out to a song like this, I ain't gonna cap. And with, and with Chi Chi sound, sounding like that type of opera lady and such, for when it's like a holy war, <laughs> she definitely hits it on the, hits the nail on the coffin. Like, look at this. Villainous, and I love it. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I love that type of lyricism, that villainous lyricism. And now we're gonna end this off with Schwabity with his Murder Jones rap. Absolute. Ooh, and with I. Hold up. Hold up. Has some EDM vibes in this and such. Hold up, you already know what we about to do. Hold on. Is it the production by? Yep, longest solo ever. So you already know. He finna go crazy with the mix. We finna hear some guitarists. In. We already hearing guitarists with this. This makes you want to see this. Back, back.
Okay, you don't get so long. I'm not a solution, got a single mind. Yeah. Yo, this look at. I don't care what people say. I love Nerdcore, and I don't care if it's not this big, well-known thing. But hey, I'm telling y'all, go f listen to some Nerdcore songs. And if y'all think like, what the hell is this? Y'all probably listening to the wrong one. These type of elite nerdcore artists right here, she <laughs> makes you wanna, you make you wanna believe it or not. Because of these, because of songs what they put out, right? They're the reasons why I freaking watch anime. Believe it or not, if you believe me or not, they're the reasons why I started watching anime from four years ago. Started watching four years ago to right now. So hey, that's why I'm always gonna give them love. Cause if it wasn't for, if I never heard of them in the first place, I don't know where what I would be. Honest to God. So hey, shout out to Nerdcore man. Cause with this type of creativity in the music, fight back. And hey, with Shrabity knowing how he loves like these types of production where it's like that glitchiness and such. Shout out to Modestro and such. Why don't we have, I want to see another, I want to hear Shrabity on another Modestro beat because I guarantee you he be going crazy on those types of beats. So this definitely matches Shrabity's vibe. And then this nigga, you already know Schwabity is the punchline king. What you said? Forming the camera, shoot a bite, I'll pick. Uzi baby, I might honest. <laughs> huh, because the way how little Uzi Vert looks nowadays, man, look like a freaking vampire or card. I was trying to say I'm loving longest solo boy, longest solo ever's performance on this and such, especially in the chorus, the whole electronic vibe in it. Mwah. They got that idiom vibe too. Or funk too. Right. 
shout out to Schwab and everybody and such. Cause god damn it, y'all went crazy with this and such. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this music mayhem down in the comments below. And if you made it to the end, <laughs> comment down below villainous. <laughs> Cause that's what mostly everybody was on. Even with the Tanjiro one being a little bit to the heart, it was still, in a way to me, it probably sounded, well, it is what it is. But hey, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.